All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I got a comment like two weeks ago. This was a while ago, but it said on my mouse cursor set that I leave in the description of each one of my videos. It's for my green mouse cursors that I always use. Uh, links you to an AdFly link. It gives me like a tenth of a penny each time someone clicks on it. So I'm up to like solid nine or ten cents. Now, we might actually be up to ten cents. That's a dime. But anyway, uh, it you basically you can download the mouse cursor set that I use in my videos to use it to yourself because people are always asking for it. Now, I did get a comment that said by I'm Fire Sonic or someone that said the mouse cursors don't work, and my response to that is yes, they do, you just don't know how to install them. Now, it's a really, really simple concept, I'm just going to make sure everyone knows it. This is obviously a Windows tutorial. If you're on, uh, if you're on Mac, I don't know why you're not using Boot Camp, or, uh, but, uh, yeah, get, get yourself a Windows installation, or at least, uh, something, something of the sort. Uh, Linux, maybe, you know, uh, Linux Mint, I don't know. That's that's besides the point. <clears throat> uh, the point is installing custom mouse cursors. Super easy. I'm gonna try to keep this tutorial like five minutes long. Super super simple. YouTube, right? Okay, so let's say you're watching my most recent video. If my YouTube will load, I've been watching a lot of TED talks recently, which is why they're all in my feed. But uh, so you go to my most recent video, Dwarfs vs Zombies. That was a fun one. It got no views though, which sucked. Um, mouse cursor. Right here. This is the AdFly link I was talking about. Click on that. You wait like five seconds. Now I have ad block, which is kind of ironic. If you want to use ad block, that's fine. I'm, I won't hold it against you or anything. Uh, I'm not going to send you on a guilt trip for that. I've had people, whatever, use it all you want. Doesn't make a difference for me. Uh, skip ad here at the top, and greeny cursors. It'll bring you this page. All you need to do to download my cursors is hit download, and bam. So yeah, I don't know what that guy was talking about. Works fine. Um, but in case, wow, published on 2007. This is old. Anyway. Let's say that this cursor set's not your thing, it's just, you just hate it, it's just garbage, you're like, I need an actual good cursor set, right? There's only 4.2 out of 5 stars, I need 5 out of 5. So, go up here to cursors, now this is just kind of one of those websites where, you know, you'll have all, you'll have access to all the cursors and whatnot. Uh, let's say you like the white gradient cursors, and you're like, yeah, this is more my style, this is what all the cool kids are going, no reviews yet. Oh, this is like one of those weird animated cursors. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, go up here to download, bam, you got a zip file in your downloads, put that on your desktop, I'll extract it real quick, that'll take like two seconds, not even, there we go, so we have all of our cursors here, perfect, everything is going according to plan, right, we got the white gradient folder, now for that, now how to actually use them, uh, Windows logo right here, search up pointers, uh, right here, it says change how the mouse pointer looks. That's the option you want with the picture of the mouse here. Uh, select that. And then you got this mouse properties window. Now this is your best friend right now. This is what we're going to be using the whole time. It's very, very, very simple process. So I'm just going to highlight right here. You have your libraries. You have all the different windows cursors you can choose from. And then the different ones that I've made. Like this is my green cursor, right? And if I want to use that, all I hit is OK. And there we go. I got my green cursor. But um, let's say I want to add like a new set of cursors, right? What you do is you go... I'll just go to none here, so this is just kind of the default scheme, I guess you could say. Uh, and then highlight the cursor you want to change. Now there's a bunch of different cursors in a cursor set, right? They're all the different cursors that you're going to need for a complete cursor set. Now highlight the one that you want to change, and you'll eventually end up changing most, if not all of them. So highlight normal select, go to browse, navigate to where you keep your, uh, your or where you have the folder with the mouse cursors in it, right? Mine's just on my desktop, so white gradient. And then, here we are. Perfect. Now I have I have all the cursors here. Let's say I select normal, open, bam, it changed. Just like that. It's as simple as that. That's all there is to it. And now it's changed. Uh, I'm just going to change some more of them. Uh, but it's same process. Like, I want to change the help select, browse, help, open, bam. Look at that. That's all. The, it's as simple as that, I'm telling you. It's that easy. Uh, what is? What am I changing now? The working in background? Okay. Ooh, do, 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 do. Which one is this? Ooh, busy or background? That's I think that's the right one. Oh, look at it's and I like that. I like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's all there is to it. I'll change the rest of these. I'll probably fast forward it, and then when I'm done, we'll continue. All right, so that was actually a good cursor set because it included all of the cursors that I needed. That's another thing, you want to make sure it includes all the, or most of the cursors or the ones you want to change because some 
some will be like half finished and it's really annoying and it's missing one or two and it just ruins the whole thing so anyway i got those all saved right so what i want to do to save this to make sure i can always come back and change my cursor to this theme i've created here i don't know why i'm getting the loading cursor there we go uh save as and then i'll just call it what i'll just call it white gradient or whatever whatever you want to call it white gradient there we go and now whenever i want to change it i'll just scroll down here white gradient okay and that, that there we have it there i got my white gradient cursors everything everything is great it's all good it's I'm, I, it's fantastic let's say i want to change it back let's say i reboot my computer and whatever it switches to the normal cursor or something you need to change it again simple go to pointer change how the mouse pointer looks select oopsie my bad uh yeah i know i know uh select whatever cursor set you want these i was using for uh old tutorials that didn't record my mic of course uh you know this is my third time trying this tutorial whoa we're at like six we're at like i've been talking for like six minutes okay let's go ahead to green hit okay and bam we're back to my green cursor that's all there is to it folks it's as simple as that literally uh anybody anybody can do it just making sure everyone knows how to do that in case they want to use a uh, cursor but they don't know how that's that's it that's all there is to it. it'll take you a minute and a half and uh so yeah that's it i will make I i'll work on getting more consistent uploads it's just that uh let's just say my school schedule is a little it's a little stupid right now it's like it's just ridiculous and I, with work and everything on top of that it's a struggle but I'll, I'll i'll find a way i always find a way i'll keep getting videos out don't be concerned about that i'll see you in the next video i got something i got a pretty funny idea for a video planned uh so uh yeah i'm, I'm pretty excited to post that but for now now you know if you didn't know how to install mouse cursors now you know you probably already knew that but if you did why did you watch the video uh anyway that's that see you next time goodbye